The True Love Story of Anjali and Veer They say if you desire something intensely, the whole universe conspires to make it happen. Anjali and Veer's story is just like that. After four years, the same voice echoed, the same fragrance lingered in the air, but everything had changed. Seeing her, it felt as if life was telling me, you're alive, you can still dream, you're not alone now. Yet there was a fear in my mind, a doubt if this dream would shatter as soon as I opened my eyes. Then she appeared in front of me and said, Hi, how are you? I kept staring at her. She said again, Hello, how are you? Say something. I stuttered, I'm fine. She smiled lightly and asked, Do you work in this company? I replied, Yes. There was a faint smile on her face and she said, Great, I joined today. It's my first day here. Hearing this, it felt like a wave of happiness surged within me, but I couldn't share it with her. It had been four years since I last saw her. She was my first love. We were very happy together, but then came a day when she left me. Ultimately, it was my fault. In reality, she didn't leave me. I pushed her away. I got carried away for someone else. But they say true love can change even the worst person. Something similar happened with me. I couldn't forget Anjali even after trying. And now, after four years, she's in front of me. What do I say to her? I couldn't understand. She has just joined my office and I'm her senior. We come to the office daily, work, and go home. It's been a month, but Anjali never talked about our past or asked if I'm still with her or if we broke up. One evening, as it was raining heavily, I didn't have an umbrella to reach the bus stand. I waited in the office for the rain to stop. Then I saw Anjali leaving the office. She noticed me and asked, aren't you going home? I said, I am, but I didn't bring an umbrella today and it's raining heavily, so I'm waiting for it to stop. She said, okay, wait. After a while, she said, I have an umbrella. If you want, I can drop you at the bus stand. Without thinking, I agreed, quickly gathered my belongings and left with her. The rain was so heavy that we both got soaked by the time we reached the bus stand. There was silence between us. I couldn't find words, and she didn't say anything either. Then, mustering courage, I asked, Are you married? She laughed and said, No. Hearing this, I felt a surge of happiness that I couldn't express to her. After a while, she asked me, Are you married? I said, no. Then, after a pause, she smiled and asked about Preeti. I calmed down a bit and said, We are not together. She remained silent. I apologized to her, admitting that I had wronged her. She didn't say anything, just stood there quietly. After a while, she left, and we both got on the bus. The next day, when I saw Anjali in the office... I wanted to ask her what she thought, whether she forgave me or not, how to talk to her. But all I could think of was that she came to my cabin to give me a file. Without thinking, I told her that we should talk after office hours, that I had something to discuss with her. She asked what? I said, not here. We can talk later. She agreed and I left. I was just waiting for six o'clock to be able to talk to her. Time seemed to slow down. Finally, it was six o'clock and everyone was leaving the office. Finally, I left and Anjali was waiting for me. Today, we went together to the bus stand and on the way, I asked her why she didn't respond yesterday. She was calm and said, what answer should I give? 
You left, and now I don't want all those things again. Forgiveness, questions, answers, none of it matters. I tried to convince her a lot, but she didn't agree. It had been five months since we worked together in the same office, but we didn't talk to each other after that day. I tried many times to convince Anjali to apologize for my mistakes, but she didn't agree. After joining this office, I tried to contact you before, but it didn't work out. And when you joined this office, I was no longer happy, but I didn't have the courage to talk to you. I knew you still loved me, but you didn't say it. One day I decided, and I announced my wedding news in the office, saying that I'm getting married next month. Upon hearing this, everyone in the office came to congratulate me, but Angeli didn't come. In the evening, I went to her and asked if she wasn't happy that I'm getting married. She said, why wouldn't I be happy? I'm very happy that you're getting married and starting a new life. Then I asked her why she didn't come to congratulate me when everyone else did. She said, I had a lot of work. I was busy. It's not about forgiveness, questions, or answers. I tried a lot to persuade her, but she didn't agree. Two days later, I received a message from Anjali asking if I was really getting married next month. I said, yes. The next day, Anjali didn't come to the office. I wondered what happened, why she didn't come. I asked my colleague to call her and inquire why she didn't come to the office. It turned out that she had a high fever and she was alone at home. I immediately left the office to go to her house. On the way, I called to ask for her address, and as soon as possible, I reached there. When I reached there, she was alone, wrapped in a blanket, shivering. I quickly took her to the hospital. By evening, her fever subsided, and the doctor allowed me to meet her. I sat by her side. She was sleeping, and as her eyes slowly opened, she saw only me. I gently told her that I wasn't getting married next month. On hearing this, she started crying. Tears welled up in my eyes too, and I hugged her tightly, and we both cried holding each other. Then we went home, promising to always be together.